Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, so today we're going to take a look at leaning. That's probably the uh, last last mechanic we're going to do before we take a look at shooting. So we'll take a look at projectiles and recoil. Uh, so a nice simple one today so that we can move on to the more complicated stuff. All right, so the way we're going to set this up is basically we're just going to create a pivot that the uh, camera will be a child of. and. Uh, then we can rotate the pivot either left or right. So inside our player, I'm just going to create an empty um, and I'll put, put it uh, in the center. Um, but what we want to do is move it up to roughly where our shoulders will be. So I'd say probably about here. And what we can do is just uh, make our camera hold a child of that new game object that we just created. And then straight from here, you'll be able to see if we rotate that, you see the camera rotates. This is basically what we're going to be doing through code. Um, so yeah, you can see nice and simple. Obviously, if you want to move it a little, you can take the camera holder out and then move the game object back to where, where you think is best. Like if you want more leaning, make it lower, less leaning, move it up, like more of an angle. So I'm going to put it around about here, which is 0 0.484. And then I'm just going to rename it to lean pivot. Uh, with a capital L and there we go and then I'm just gonna make the camera holder a child of the lean pivot there we go so now if I rotate the lean pivot you can see we can lean with our character nice and simple we just need to add it to our camera controller and uh, and then adjust it depending on the input so let's go ahead and add our input so I'm gonna open up the default input and then from here under the character, I'm just going to create another action and we're going to call this lean left and another action for lean right. Nice and simple. And for the binding, I'll change the lean left to Q, right to E. There we go. And then save as it. All right, let's go plug this in. So I'm going to open up our uh, character controller. All right, and inside our character controller, uh, let me just minimize some of this. Uh, underscore view and movement, I'm going to add another region for leaning. And let's just add another header. I'm actually going to put it above aiming in. Leaning. All right, so we're going to need a few variables. Uh, so obviously the first variable being our um, game object, um, but we'll do a transform. We'll have a public transform for the leaning or we'll just call it lean pivot. Like that. This is the transform that we're going to be moving left and right. We'll create a private float for current lean. Um, actually, for now, let's just make that public. And we'll also create a private function, a uh, private void, sorry, getting mixed up with all the languages. <laughs> a private void for calc late leaning. Okay, so uh, what we want to do in calculate, calculate leaning, first thing we want to do is our lean pivot dot local rotation equals new uh, sorry, not new Cotanian. Um, we want to set the Eulier angles. And so for now, we'll just set everything to zero. Um, except let's change. I think it's <laughs> I think it's the Z we need, or it might might not be. So we'll put current lean in the Z, which is the last one there. Um, okay, hold on. It's now obsolete. Okay, so. Instead, what we'll do is current local rotation 
uh, equals um, quaternion. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Ulia? Ulia? I'm not too sure. <laughs> um, and inside there, we'll do a new vector 3. Um, and that vector 3, let's just grab our current lean float. So, like I said, I'm not sure if it's the Z we need. So we'll put our current lean in the Z. <clears throat> and we'll give that a test and uh, just see what happens. Okay, so um, what we're also going to do as well as a current lean, let's duplicate that. We'll also go for a target lean. Cool. Uh, we'll have a public float for lean angle. And a public float for lean smoothing and a public float for uh, lean velocity. We will go through and make the the make some of these private, the ones we don't need to be public. Um okay, so nice and simple. What we're gonna do is have our current lean is gonna be the actual value of the lean. Our target lean will be changed whether we when we press Q or E. And what we'll do is we'll smooth stamp our target lean, uh, our current lean to the target lean using the lean smoothing. And we will set our target lean depending on the input. Uh, we'll set it the lean angle. Awesome. All right, so let's go to our awake. Um, actually, let's create two functions here. So we'll have a private void for lean left and the same for lean right cool um, and like I said we're just going to set our target lean because our lean angle and then also when we lean left we want it to be the same except we want it to be minus lean angle so it should lean the other way Okay, so now the last thing to do is to smooth damp our current lean to our target lean. We'll do that before we set it. We'll just say current lean equals uh, math f dot smooth damp. We'll smooth damp current lean to target lean, and we'll reference the uh, lean velocity that we created. And the smoothing will be our lean smoothing. Awesome. Nice and simple. Now we just need to chuck this calculate leaning in the update. We can add that just before the aiming in. Cool. And then what we also want to do is add our inputs here. So I'll duplicate the last one we made and I'll just go down a little and let's change this a bit. That's not in weapon. In character and we called it lean left and right and then obviously when that is performed we just want to call the relevant function so we have lean left I'm going to duplicate that change it to lean right and make sure you change the function to lean right as well awesome and just like that all right now let's go ahead and make some of these private so lean velocity, that does not need to be public. Lean smoothing does, lean angle does, target lean um, doesn't need to be, and current lean does not need to be. Awesome. All right, let's go back into Unity. All right, so let's expand our character controller now. Minimize our player settings, and we'll see at the bottom our new header for leaning. So it wants our lean pivot, so we'll click and drag that in. Lean angle. Uh, Let's just go for 45 for now. Lean smoothing. Uh, one is going to be way too slow, but we'll give it a go. So fingers crossed. Okay, it looks like <laughs> I have got them the wrong way around. Right. Okay, so <laughs> let's go back into our FPS tutorials here. And we'll go down to lean angle here so when we lean right we actually need that to be minus lean angle and lean left to be normal lean angle all right let's go back to unity 
Uh, one was way too slow, so I'm going to change that to 0.3. Go ahead and hit play. Oh, so we can lean. Looks like 45 is probably a bit too much. But we'll go for 30. Um, it doesn't reset. We still need to add the reset. Okay, that's a bit better. I'm going to leave it like that for now. Um, right, so what we'll do is took it up to a variable instead. Um, so I'm going to create two privates. And we can use this later on as well. Uh, private bool for is leaning left. Um, and obviously the same for is leaning right. Cool. Um, let's go back into Unity because we're going to change our inputs a little. I'm just going to set it so it basically just toggles our boolean. So our lean left. Uh, we're going to change that to lean left pressed. And lean right pressed. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another action for lean left released. Another one for lean right released. And uh, what we'll do is obviously we'll pick the same corresponding controls. Um, so the release, make sure it's the same as the press. So my lean left will be Q and my lean right will be E. There is obviously loads of different ways of doing this. Um, this is just how I'm going to do it for now. We can go back through later and tidy some things, some things up. So obviously we're going to get a few errors now. Um, so we'll ignore those for now. Let's just go back down to our calculate leaning and add a few lines and let's do an if is leaning left and an else if is leaning right and an else after that. Cool. Nice and simple. Are we leaning left? Are we leaning right? And if we're not. And we're basically going to move these functions into those if statements instead. So leaning left will be this one. Leaning right will be this one. And obviously not doing either of those, we want it to be zero. We'll get rid of those functions. Cool. So what we're going to do now is obviously we need to add in our pressed and released. Uh, so this will actually be quite nice and simple. We don't need functions for these. Uh, we should just be able to do it um, just with our two lines of code. So we have our lean left pressed, our lean left released, and obviously our uh, lean right pressed and lean right released. Cool. And now instead of calling a function, because obviously that function doesn't exist, We'll be toggling our booleans. Let's say call it a function. We can just say is leaning left is true, and also is leaning left is false uh, on the release performed. And obviously the same with the right. So pop that in there. Cool, nice and simple. So on the pressed, we set our corresponding boolean to true. Not release corresponding boolean to false. All right, hope that makes sense. Um, let's go ahead and test it, check it out. Uh, let's go in here, let's hit play. Okay, so what I forgot to do is in the default input uh, on the released. If you go through to your mapping, uh, just make sure you add an interaction for press and change that to release only. Completely forgot it'll be calling both at the same time. So we'll just uh, add those interactions, press, and then change it to release only. Cool, save asset. So I think the pressed and the released were being called at the same time, which is not ideal. Uh, what you can actually do is add interaction, press, and just leave it as press only. I believe it defaults to that. 
but we don't want later down the line as if they change the default. So I'm just going to leave those there. Cool. All right. So fingers crossed. Give that a go and see if it behaves how we want it to. All right. So lean right, lean left. There we go. Yeah. That's pretty good. Obviously, if you want more distance when you lean, uh, you can move that pivot lower, like I showed you in the beginning. And obviously, if you want to increase the angle of lean or decrease, just change uh, that float that we created for the angle. Cool. Nice and simple. All right, stay tuned for the next one where we're actually going to start doing some shooting. Uh, we'll work on projectiles and sound, and then we'll add recoil. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.